we're going to continue our dis discussion about um, newton's first law of motion we were talking about inertia now inertia is nothing but the tendency of a body to remain in the state that it is in if a body is at motion in motion it will have a tendency to remain in motion unless i exert a force on it similarly if a body is at rest it has a tendency to remain in that state of rest again until i apply an external unbalanced force on it so what does inertia or the tendency to remain in the state it is in depending upon it depends upon mass this is actually quite simple to understand now say i have two trolleys one trolley has got a lot of uh, goods inside it and the other one has relatively less the goods inside it which one is going to be easier to stop the trolley that is fully loaded or the trolley that is mostly empty obviously the trolley that is mostly empty you can easily stop the trolley which is mostly empty but it's rather difficult to stop the trolley which is loaded why is this because the fully loaded trolley has a greater mass as a result of which it has a greater tendency to remain in the state of motion it has a greater tendency to remain moving with the same speed in the same direction as compared to the trolley that is mostly empty that is why it requires lot of force to stop the loaded trolley as compared to the empty trolley mostly empty trolley which can be stopped quite easily now there are two types of inertia inertia of rest and inertia of motion inertia of rest is the tendency to remain in the state of rest and inertia of motion is the tendency to remain in the state of motion this can be understood by very simple everyday practical examples if i shake the branches of a tree why is it that the fruits fall down this is because when i'm shaking the branches of a tree i am causing that branch which was initially at rest to come into motion but the fruits have a tendency to remain in that same position at rest therefore the branch moves but the fruits remain at the same place and therefore get detached and fall to the ground an example of inertia of motion is that when a car is moving and it breaks suddenly we tend to lean forward this is because when we are initially moving we are moving with the speed of the car and we have a tendency to remain in that state of motion when the car suddenly stops our lower body which is in contact with the floor of the car comes to rest immediately but our upper body tends to remain move or uh, continue to move in the same direction with the same speed which is in the forward direction that's why we fall forward when a car suddenly breaks